Welcome back to Studio Atlanta. I'm Daniel Martin, and the next topic I want to cover is going to be your shutter speed. I mentioned in the last program that I want you to set your camera on TV mode, which is shutter priority mode. Um, the shutter speed is how quickly the shutter opens and closes so that you can get light so that you can get light to your sensor. Your shutter speed is going to go way down to all the way to bulb, where you can just hold it down; it'll stay on infinitely until the battery runs out. Um, all the way up to some cameras go to one four thousand, some go to one eight thousand. It varies depending on cameras. But um, took some pictures of a car. I took one at one eighth of a second, and you'll see how blurry the car is. I took another one at one sixtieth of a second. The car is still blurry. And then I took one at one five hundredth of a second where the car looks like it's just sitting still. Now these settings, your ISO and your aperture and your shutter, you're going to use them all three together to create pictures with light. Remember, that's what we're doing. Don't think of your camera as a camera. I don't think about, well, what all can my camera do for me? Think about what you can do for your camera. I think I've heard that somewhere. But anyway, so the first thing I want you to learn is your shutter speed. I'm going to put the pictures up at the end of the video so you can see what it looked like at 1 8th, at 1 60th, and then at 1 500th. Um, right now, we're not going to get into flashes, or strobes. We're just doing straight through the camera. Right now, it's just shutter speed. So if you want to go out and shoot some pictures of cars as they're moving and play with your shutter speed and look at the difference that you're getting, you know, how the car looks blurry or what stops the car completely. Um, in fact, when I was like 19, I went to a, a NASCAR race and went with a friend of mine and his dad said, why are you taking that camera? Those cars are going way too fast. You can't get pictures of those cars. And I didn't tell him I was a photographer. And when I came back, I had put the camera on, I think it was on one four thousandths of a second. Had a close up of a NASCAR. You could read Goodyear Eagle on the tire. It was stopped. He was amazed by that. But I want you guys to go out, shutter priority, get some pictures of cars going by or anything that's moving fast. Look at it. See if you can get it stopped. Make sure it's clear. It's in focus. And keep it looking good from there. We've got to balance our aperture and our ISO from there. But that'll come later. I just want you right now to play with your shutter speed. So go find something moving. I just used cars because they're everywhere. Shoot a few pictures, and I'm going to put my email at the end of this video. And if you're having a problem getting the car to stop, I would suggest, if you're standing fairly close to the road, to go about 1 250th, if not 1 500th of a second, to get the start car to completely stop, uh, to stop all the action together. It'll look like the car is parked. Um, then, but play with it lower than that. Look at it and see what it looks like when it's blurred. And you can get a red streak. If a red car goes by, you can get a red streak of a car if you have the shutter open long enough. But once we get shutter down, I'll walk into ISO, what that's for, and aperture and what that's for. So anyway, go try it out and check my email at the bottom. If your pictures aren't coming out or you have a question about them, send me an email or just leave a note below and I'll respond to you personally. Thank you. Have a good day.